I've received many comments asking how to create consistent characters. This tutorial will demonstrate five different free methods, whether for your storybook illustrations or movie scenes. Be sure to stay with me until the end. Now, let's get started. Part 1, we will be creating a character with a reference image and then we will build the entire story around that character. So let's begin with part 1. First, we will have to choose a character for our story. So my story is all about a little girl. For this, I will go to pixar.art and here in the search bar, you will have to give this exact same prompt, little girl Disney Pixar style. Now you may change this little girl subject into something else whatever is your character and if you go to search you will get multiple characters based on your prompt you will have to choose one suitable character i like this little character now here you see you see the image so you can download this image to match with your newly generated image and we will also get this prompt which has been used for this image so we will be copying the prompt by clicking on this my second software which I'm going to use for creating the consistent character is Canva. But here I'm going to use one Canva Pro feature. If you don't have Canva Pro, you may upgrade your Canva free to Pro by 13 months with the help of my link, affiliate link given in the description. First, go to Canva home screen, then go to create design. And here you can give YouTube video. Here you can generate into 1920 to 1080 pixel. Otherwise, simply go to this video video button here and select the video spec ratio 1920 to 1080. That will lead you to this page. Now I will go to this app section. Check properly. In app section, we will type magic media. So if you give magic media, you will have to go to this option, magic media option. Okay. Now here we can create three things. One is image, one is graphics and one is video. So I will be considering image today. So I will just paste that exact same prompt. Okay. And here one more thing I'll have to add. That is a seed number. Now seed number is basically a random number which carries the main characteristic of the main image and will remain those characteristics consistent right so i will give a seed number any uh, seed number i will give 654321 okay this is my seed number another thing which is very important i will have to give a name to my character so that canva ai understands that it is all about that character so i will give the character name mili other things will remain same and I will also copy this prompt, okay, and paste it somewhere. Now, you go to this style option. Here, you will have to select the right style, okay. Now, I will be selecting landscape, aspect ratio and generate. You get 500 credits. It gets uh, monthly renewed. So, it will take one credit for generating four images. So, let us see how the images are coming. Well, these images are pretty good. I will go back here again similar prompt I will be pasting I will be taking this one now I am going to change some gestures okay so I have created four basic prompts which I am going to change okay now first I will take this prompt here so I will paste the prompt along with the seed number only this part will be changed.
before we move forward, friends, I have one small request to you. I have given myself a target of 2,000 likes and 500 comments. So please do contribute your valuable opinion in the comment section and please smash the like button. Your support helps me to thrive every single day. With that, let's move forward to the next part. The third software which is my all-time favorite software that is leonardo ai now the first thing which you should get to see is the inspiration here you will get different types of tags you can check as per the requirement like if i go to character tab you will find different other creators characters but we uh, are looking for a fresh new character therefore we will go to image generation this option okay i will give the same prompt here I will be giving the same prompt. I will be using uh, seed number. Here I can give Disney Pixar style. That is accepted. Okay. You can choose in the left hand side how many images you want to generate. There are up to four options. So I will go for two for the time being. Okay. Here alchemy double you may keep on or may not. If you keep photoreal model on then automatically it is having a reference model which is Leonardo Kino AI or Kino Excel. So that will be accepted. If you keep it off, you get many options. So I will go for Leonardo, Kino Excel or you can go for 3D uh, anime style. Okay. If you want to add some negative prompts, you can add that. Okay. This type of negative prompts you may give. Now you have another option here called image guidance. Okay. You can upload an image from your previous generations or you can upload from your own laptop so i will be creating uh, an image around this character so i will take this image now here i will be keeping image to image option on and i will keep the strength around 40 okay and then generate let's see now it's perfect now my character is okay i will just save this smoothen it or upscale it there are two upscalation possible, smooth upscale and crisp upscale. Okay, and then download. Now we will go to another option. Okay, I will keep legacy mode off. Here I will be taking, I will go for lifelike version and 3D render option. Okay, consistent contrast should be high, quality should be selected, 16 is to 9 should be selected. Here in advanced settings, you may choose any of these. So let me choose Leonardo Kino. The photo real, real model you may keep on or off, negative prompt you may keep on or off. Okay, so after all this, I will be pasting the same prompt. If I go to this plus option, I have this uh, character reference option. Here I will be again choosing my character which I have generated that is this one. And in this case, I can also choose the pose reference. So let's suppose I am go going for pose, pose reference. Confirm. Here again I will have to choose a pose. So what will I do? Let's suppose I want this pose. Okay. So I will take this model as pose reference. And if you select this, you will have this strength option. So keep the strength around 1.2 to 1.23. Okay. That way it gives a satisfactory result. Here I have chosen the large screen aspect ratio. You may choose any one of it. And keeping all this and for the character, we will be giving high preference to the character reference because we don't want this character to be changed. Now here you will simultaneously have to change this part as well. See, they have created this image uh, which is quite similar to this image which we gave as reference, right? So, I will just smooth upscale it. Now, I will cross this reference and I will only use the image reference, the character reference and I will use different prompts as I was showing in Canva and we will be checking how that turns out to be.
show you another alternative way of achieving consistent character with the help of chat gpt so for this first come to gpt chat gpt and go to explore chat explore gpt okay here give consistent character this uh, glibetry consistent character assistant by glibetry.com okay you have to find out this one in explore gpt you have to find out that that particular gpt okay here now you will have to go for either of these options so generate prompt for my existing character or create a brand new consistent character create a totally random character and i am having a specific problem uh, to generate consistent character so i will be creating generate prompt for my existing character you may take any other option okay here they will ask for the detail of the character so at this moment i am taking this this detail only so here i am going to take this consistent character brand new consistent character option and i will give all these specific details you have to be as specific as possible i will leave this uh, this particular prompt in the description and go to this option okay they will generate a prompt once the prompt is completely generated please copy this prompt now you can go to canva okay and here you give magic media and here in the uh, in the image section paste the prompt generate now the same prompt i will be running here also okay now they will give me separate separate prompt for each now i will simply copy this if i like this particular uh, image then i will not change anything else i will just paste that prompt in the same setting and generate okay now again i will take the second option let's suppose sitting option and here in leonardo ai yeah, you don't have to wait even when another image is getting generated you can simply paste the second image prompt and continue the same thing with that let us move forward to the final step where i'll be showing you another free option how to achieve a consistent character for your movies or your story book here i'm going to use this tensor.art uh, this website you need to go to tensor.art this free online website here you'll have to sign up okay once you sign up you get 100 credit every day it gets renewed now here check properly go to model section and if you are looking for a 3d model then go for 3d model section okay and here you need to choose a perfect model for your character okay now what you need to do is go to click to remix option and here you will have to paste your own prompt okay don't go by their prompt so i will be taking let's suppose i'll be taking this first prompt okay first prompt i'll be taking make sure you select the entire prompt and paste it now then you can, you can enhance also you can go for portrait or landscape or any one of it so i'm giving landscape only okay after that generate let's see animation stage where we will be creating lip sync animation now see properly first go to this app section there are three four apps which i'm going to show you one is did this app here also you can um, you can accept the invitation and here you can create lip sync animation another option is hey gen this app allows you if you open this uh, this will allow you 
to create a lip sync animation but my favorite is lalamo so i will go to lalamo i'll click on this this is a free app you can use it now here although it is showing upload video you can even upload image so i will upload this image now here you may upload an an audio otherwise enter text for the time being i am using text this is my first dialog from here you can check any of the voice artists okay so after you like this go to generate video option it will take a while to generate the lip sync video be sure to stay with me until the end now let's get started and if you want to know different models different ai tools please do visit www.wagpaymedia.in where we have created a comprehensive course for you all which is getting an early bird offer as well at this moment so guys if you like this video please 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 do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and please consider to give me a like one small request please do share my content with your friends and family so that i can thrive in every single day to create new videos like this for you all thank you so very much for staying here with me i'll come back with some fun tutorial next week till then stay safe and stay legendary